Hello, my pretties. Let's play some music. Oh, I got a new coat. Kind of this weird, interesting, rosy-like pattern of black and red. I love it. I'm wearing fancy pants at the moment, but it does go really well with a, with a suit, which I'll be taking with me for formal nights on my upcoming cruise. But yeah, I'm excited. This new coat. I love it. It looks really good. It fits perfectly, too. Okay, on with the music. I'm going to improvise. Uh, musicalorgasms.com is my website. Musicalorgasms.com. I'm going to start off with my favorite backing track of all time so far, as I've been doing lately, revisiting this one, because it has been so long since I've done this one, as of about a week or so ago, and now I did it up every time first song. So, that's what I will start with. Welcome, my first visitors. So, uh, before I get started, one last note. I was trying to think. I've got so many different kinds of music that I really like, so much music, but the one common thread is it's emotional. So from now on, when somebody asks me what kind of music I like, I'm going to say, I like emotional music. Stuff that squeezes out feelings. And that could be any style. If it's really good and squeezes out feelings, it's emotional. So that's what I like. And then, great, someone's going to think I'm an emo head or something. <laughs> I guess that's emotional too, but that really never got me, you know? So without further ado, let's get started. And... Um, connect with me as I'm playing. The way we connect is you interact. I read as you're connecting with me and we have this exchange. That's what makes this cool.
great. It's my favorite. It is my... I'm going to do that one again, because I've got more viewers now. That started with zero viewers, because it was the first song. Now i got some viewers. I'm just going to replay that same song, because it's so beautiful. Hello, Rosanna. Sing with me, Rosanna. I'll sing on here. I will bring the best of vibrato to really make those notes sing, and then sing with me with your, with your vocal cords. I'll try to hear you. So let's do that tune again. Okay, ready? Here we go. I love this tune.
supported raising Wisconsin's. See how I do that? And yes, Rosanna, that is uh, actually, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, it is ginger ale by GTs. I, I like GTs kombucha because they're one of the only ones that doesn't add sugar to it. I never understood why the other ones add sugar. It doesn't need it. It takes a perfectly good gut healthy drink. It makes it less healthy. So yeah, uh, GTs is one of the only kombuchas I buy because of that reason. So let's do another tune. God, there's more visitors. I love that the best. Yes. And, uh, and Valerie, thanks for the compliment on this new lovely jacket of mine. It's so cool. I just love this. Hello, Angelica. Nice to see you, my fellow fitness freak and the EDM freak fan. <laughs> okay, what shall I do next? I have no idea, but I've got a bunch of options loaded. So I'm going to do one of them right now. And the next one I do, this one is called... Oh, it's an acoustic pop, but I'm going to do electric over the acoustic. The adjectives used to describe this one is emotional acoustic pop. So it's acoustic, it's emotional, it's pop. I will add my own context over the top of it. Uh, Rosanna, were you singing with me on that last one? Matching my vibrato, maybe? I don't know. Okay, here we go. This one's a short one, only three and a half minutes long. Okay. A flat, very weird key to play an A flat for a guitar player.
not on a good note. I wish I had some warning there, but it ended on a... At Simply Safe, your safety is the only thing that matters. I was prepping for a tail at the end of that note, but I didn't get it because there's no, no indication it was ending right then and there. I love that dark tone of that key. Well, thank you. I find, Rosanna, for me, it's not so much the key that matters, it's the context, like everything that comes before and after any particular note or chord. It's always about the context for me. So for that one, the context that I gave it was I played a lot of the... The focus was in the Ionian major, so I, I played a lot of the Aeolian minor over it, then some uh, Phrygian dominant harmonic minor, which gave it some exotic flair, I thought. And, um, and then with the Phrygian dominant, dominant, I think I touched a little bit on a full diminished run there at one point, which gave it some extra exotic flair, a darker tone of like more tension to a final like major resolve. So that was fun to toy around with, to give it that context. All right, next, coming right up. Um, let's see here. Uh, this one just says cool backing track solo perfecto and this one is uh, going from an uncommon key to a common key this one is going to be in a minor relative C major so on a piano no black keys all white keys unless you raise the seventh for the harmonic minor note all right here we go <laughs> This sounds cool. Start the clean channel.
for children. Mm. Mm. Love it. Thank you, Lucia. I appreciate that. Sounds lovely. Thank you, Crystal. Hello, Mandy, Julie, everyone else who's here. Let's do another tune. That one was a lot of fun. Um, let's see here. Okay. This one's going to be in C minor. This one's called Atmospheric Doom Metal. So how about a metal track? Still emotional. Very emotional. Because that's the music I like. Emotional music. That's the common tissue.
that's heavy. Defund the police radical Mandela Barnes isn't just dangerously wrong on crime. Barnes supported... Oh, fuck off. Political ads. That's a cool one. I wish I could find more cool, really metal, heavy metal tunes like that that I could um, improvise over without getting copyright strikes. That's one of the only ones that I know of. I wish there was more. Wow. Upside down is mom. Hello, Kathy. Wow. Holy shit. Thank you, Kathy. Appreciate that. All right, let's see what's next. Very nice. Thank you, Crystal. Let's see what's next. Um, let's see here. Bum, 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 bum. So here's one. I'm going to do this one just because it's an F sharp minor, and I love F sharp. It's different. Um, a lot of Baroque music from the various classical periods is in F sharp, so I really like that one. Minor. So there's the different variations of the F sharp minor arpeggio, and the relative major to that is A major. variations of that arpeggiated relative A major. Okay, and then one of my favorite modes is going to be C sharp Phrygian, which is this. And then when I'm doing Phrygian, I really love raising the seventh tone from the perspective of the minor or the fifth tone from the perspective of the Ionian major, which is going to be... And that's where a lot of like Egyptian and Arabian music comes from, is that raised note, especially focused from the, uh, the, the dominant Phrygian mode, because it has a flat second as well as a flat third but if you raise the third to a major, it gives it that really cool sound. And plus you can do full diminishing stuff from that too, which is basically just every step and a half. unresolved attention until you resolve it, which I just did to major. So anyway, some theory neared for you on how my brain operates when I'm improvising or, or composing. Here we go. This one's called Intense Dreamy Ballad Backing Track in F sharp minor. <laughs>
one about a week ago. I remember the title. Uh, maybe I did this one. Maybe. We'll see if I find it familiar or not. I'm not sure. It's called The Haunting... Waiting for it to load. Haunting Suspenseful Melodic. Those three adjectives. So comment. Tell me if you find these to be, uh, this particular one, to be haunting, suspenseful, and melodic all in one. Or comment... If it's just one of those, or two of those, or all three of those, or if you have different adjectives to describe this one altogether. Or maybe my context makes you think of something else when you hear this one. So comment what that might be. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
descriptive adjectives that it said it was. I think Radical that. Mandela Barnes isn't just wrong on crime. He supported raising our gas tax. Fuck off! Okay. Like a pterodactyl. Fuck off! <laughs> Alright. Always an audiovisual treat, Tom. Thank you, Crystal. I appreciate that very, very much. Thank you. Well, there's a couple of crystals here. Cool. I just see one of them commenting, though. And thanks for the compliment on the guitar itself, Kelly. I, this is my favorite guitar in the world right here. The BC Rich Warlock, specifically this one, because of all the specifications on it. Um, seven strings, 25 frets, the diamond inlays, the Black Widow headstock, the floating bridge, very important for me because I use it a lot, as you can probably see and hear. Everything about this instrument. One piece instead of two with the bolt-on neck. It's 
everything about it. All right. What's next? I think I'm going to do just one more. Most likely one more. Most likely. It could do more than one, but most likely one. In case I haven't said that enough. Okay, let's see. Um, maybe I'll end it with my favorite one. Just maybe. If I can get to it. Yep. Alright, I will start and I will finish with uh, this one. Because I really love this one a lot. And I think everyone on right now hadn't heard me play this song yet on this particular live feed. I'm going to challenge myself to play it a little differently than I usually do. I played it so much I got my little habits I've fallen into on this one, so let's see what happens. Thank you. 
the ad started. I did, but there was a delay in my clicker. <laughs> God. Hmm. I think that's going to do it for tonight. So thanks everyone who is here. Thanks everyone. Thanks everyone who commented and connected. Because that's what it's about. If nobody ever commented or connected, I would probably have no motivation to do live feeds. So special thank you for those who comment and connect. I appreciate that a lot. I haven't said it yet. Um, once again, GT's kombucha, because they don't add sugar to it like most of them do. Lovely live. Thank you very much, Crystal. Um, yeah, I got nothing else for you. Musicalorgasms.com is the website musicalorgasms.com. I'm very proud of that domain. very proud of that project because it's all mine. It's all my ideas and I love it. Well, this will be the last live feed for at least eight or nine days. <laughs> wonder what my hands will be like. I'm sure it'll be fine. Just won't be as tough until I toughen them back up. But I got about eight or nine more days until my next live feed. So, but I have hundreds, hundreds of other Video is all archived on, a lot of them are here on Facebook, but they're hard to find. On YouTube, if you go to my YouTube page, you'll see the various channels. One of them is a musical orgasms channel, and they're all there. There's 300 and some odd videos last I've looked, so it's well over 300 videos. By now, it's mostly this type of improvisational stuff, but I've also got a lot of original compositional music over there, too, and it's all free, so just enjoy it. Turn it up, meet your neighbors. And enjoy it for free. The best way to pay for a lovely moment is to enjoy it. And tell me all about it. So yeah, that's all I got for you. And feel free to share this. If you've got people in your circle that would enjoy this, hit the share button. Put this out there. And even have people go to my YouTube and subscribe to me on YouTube. Because that's been like an, the ultimate like holding archive space for all this stuff to go there. Because I can have it organized in one playlist on that channel. It's kind of neat. So share, get it out there and tell them it's musical orgasms. Who wouldn't want that? <laughs> Good night, everyone. Bye for now.